Okay, in this series of videos, uh, we're going to continue with our analysis of the point patterns within our study area. And as you can see from here, what we just saw at the end of the last video was our quantile analysis of point density within enumeration units. Now, what we can say here then is, again, quantiles, remember, divides it into equal number of enumeration units, in this case, five equal numbers. So we have the top uh, percent, top 20 percent, the next 20 percent, the next 20 percent, the next 20 percent. In the sense, that's what we're seeing here. Now the question that we could then ask is, is this depart from what we'd expect from random or chance? And in doing this, what we are going to do uh, is using the optimized hotspot analysis tool within ArcGIS. And this is within the spatial statistics and mapping clusters. So in a sense, what I want to understand is whether or not these wells cluster, in a sense. And the important dis the question here is, how do we understand their distribution? Relative to what? And initially, we would say, well, relative to our enumeration units. So I'm going to open up the tool, and we're going to talk about it a little bit in this first video. And then in the subsequent ones, we'll actually work through them. So let's open up the tool. And let's talk a little bit about, you know, the wrong one there. We're going to uh, close that out. And let's talk a little bit about the fields that it's asking for. First of all, the input field is always going to be our point features, those features that exist in space that we're interested in. Those features then have to be assigned to something else. And uh, that's what, in a sense, becomes the way that we aggregate. Okay, so again, input our points. The output is going to be dependent on how we aggregate them. In this case, because we have no magnitude for each point, we're going to leave the analysis field empty. But imagine, again, in our previous example, I talked about gas wells. We could add an intensity field that, for example, would be the output of natural gas in cubic meters. That would be an intensity field that would allow us to say, well, this well is more important or has more value than another well. But in this case, we're going to treat all points as equal. The, again, if we were to select one option, for example, the fishnet polygon, then we would need to identify where incidents are possible. So the bounding polygon, and you remember that we have our small shed study area, the dissolved boundary. That would be the bounding polygon in this case because we want to define the area where events are possible. If we don't do this, what's going to happen is a, a rectangular area of study is going to be defined. And in our case, because we've clipped our points to the bounding area of our study, there it is impossible for points to fall outside of it. So we need to define it in this case. Now, the next one down, polygons for aggregating incidents into counts, those would be, for certain options, that's going to be our enumeration units. The last option is the density surface generation. And in the case, if we say we're not interested in any boundaries, in a sense, we want to truly treat the points as points and look at a density surface based on a kernel estimation, then we would select the density surface. And again, we will go through each one of these in kind. But in order to do the hotspot analysis, essentially what you need are point features. You then need to define an output. You're going to get different types of outputs. You're going to define a bounding polygon in most cases. That's an area where things possibly can happen. You may define your aggregation units into enumeration units. We use the term again, enumeration units counts into areas, and we might define a raster surface. Now remember, by the way, that density surface you have to have on your spatial analyst and 3D analyst uh, custom extensions in order for this to function. Okay, I will be back in the next video, and we will talk about the first option, which is cluster analysis or hotspot analysis within enumeration units.